Well, Dink, no, you're doing the dance right. It must be your personality the girls don't like. <laughs> teach you personality? Oh, Dink, that's so... You think I can't teach you personality? It's just something I happen to have. <laughs> Good morning, Commanders. Well... Shall we see what the head has in store for us today? Commanders, your assignments. Commander Haley, you will undertake a 30-year mission to the planet Java. Call when you arrive. <laughs> Commander Black, you will personally disarm all of the photon explosive devices left by the Gorgons on the planet Beldar. I don't believe it. Uh, uh, Commander Black. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, Commander Black, you're going to love Beldar. It's a lovely place. Yeah. And Quark, pick up garbage. And Quark. Here it comes. You will spend an extended romantic interlude with a beautiful princess. Ah, I knew it. The galaxy ad infinitum. <laughs> Same. Wait a minute. I got a princess. Hey, hey, hey. I got a princess! Hey! Hey! I know the slightest breeze can set off a photon explosive, but you'll survive somehow. How? Tiptoe. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, oh, yes, 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 I know. You've always gotten me a good price on Ambrosia, and I'm grateful. But what can I do? The head gave you the assignment, not me. Don't take that tone of voice to me, Commander. Alondro, hmm? the head just gave me a most fantastic mission. What's the catch? Quark, I'm not supposed to tell you this, but the head is thinking of promoting you. He is? Yes, and it's all hinging on my recommendation. And so far, Quark, I'm not very impressed. Well, give me a chance. This extended romantic interlude, is it supposed to be with any particular princess? I can't tell you that. Well, where am I supposed to go? There are a lot of princesses out there. I'd like to, but it's top secret. You'll be informed as soon as your ship enters the Kazir Space Corridor. Well, so long, Palindrome. Wish me luck. Star Note. I got a princess! <laughs> Emotionally, I won't feel a thing. It's strictly a mission, and Betty's... I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Whatever happens between me and that princess happens for the good of the United Galaxy. Do you believe me? No. Frankly, I've heard better. Andy. It was a little lame, Commander. This isn't a group meeting to discuss my love life. I'm talking to the Bettys. You could have said no, Adam. Sure, if I wanted to be selfish, but I was thinking of you. If I do this mission right, you, me, all of us are going to have our own starship. Our own starship? Thanks, but no thanks. Betty's, I've dreamed about having a starship all my life. I've dreamed, I've dreamed, I've dreamed of getting off this ship all my life. Commander, I'm sorry to interrupt the most important moment of Say, your life. Say, Vicus, did you hear the news? We might be getting rid of this garbage heap and get some real star speed. Gene, as I'm a vegeton, I don't care either way. Who are you? Hold me back, Commander, hold me back. Gene, I am. I'm holding you. Oh, I... Sir, there's a space baggy dead ahead. Space baggy? There isn't a settlement within four parsecs of here. Why would there be a space baggy? Maintain speed. Maintaining speed, Commander. Extend claws. Claws extending. You know, that's it. This is a critical period. Ease it in. Now, Adam. Contact, sir. We have a grab. I repeat, we have a grab. We have a grab. Adam, no commander does the grab as well as you. I'm proud to be under your command, sir. Thanks, Jane. We have a problem, sir. The garbage hatch won't close. It seems to be jammed. I'll go below and check on it. Hey, Space Ranger. Hey, how you doing, girls? Oh, hey, 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 I'm a sensitive guy. I know how you feel. You're worried that this beautiful princess is going to win over the commander with her power, money, and looks? Ah. Think we're overreacting, Gene? No, nah, not at all. I'd be scared to death. Thanks a lot, Gene. Hey, anytime you want to talk. Hey, what do you say, Ficus? Our own starship, huh? Where are we going to have us some times? <laughs> Time is a continuum, Gene. Right, space buddy. Hey, listen, let's make sure this mission goes without a hitch, huh? No mistakes. Where I come from, we have a saying about mistakes. Ergo limprium von inter revoltum. Yeah. Well, hey, don't go vegeton, you know? That was a rough one, but I fixed the garbage hatch. Here, Adam, let us help you. Oh, oh Adam! Commander! You look ten years older. 
How could this happen? What's my condition, Ficus? I've got to know. Sir, it would appear you were upset. That I know. I want to know why I came out of that hatch ten years older than when I went down. One explanation might be you were down there ten years. Ficus, I was down there five hours. Well, that would rule out that theory. I'll have to check my results, but my assumption is you caught a virus. Uh, a virus? Uh, could I catch that virus? I don't like viruses, Ficus. Commander, it's definitely a virus, one that is aging you at the rate of two years every hour. As a matter of fact, you just aged another year. Happy birthday, Adam! Ficus, how did I get this virus? From that stray space baggie we picked up. Ficus, you have to find a cure. Sir, transmute blood is extremely resistant to disease. If we could give you a transfusion of Gene's blood. Uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ch check the reactors, Commander. I'm with, I'm with you all the way. Gene, you've got to. I'm not gonna connect myself with a virus. Are you crazy? No way. Is Adam's life? I'm not gonna do it. I don't want to be old. I'm too handsome, too strong. <laughs> I hate to be so violent. <laughs> Oh. oh, no. Gene, it's okay. You can't catch the virus. Your blood is flowing into me. My blood is what? Hold on, Gene. It's almost done. Relax, Commander. Helping others is the part of space I love. Commander, I hate to interrupt you in the middle of a transfusion, but Palindrome is calling you on the telescreen. Palindrome mustn't know about the virus, Ficus. I don't need help. Working with the aged. <gasps> How rewarding. Hello, Palindrome. Bork, here are your orders. The baby with the booty brought the body with the baggie. Palindrome, I don't know what you're talking about. Quark, are you all right? You look a little tired. No, no, I'm fine. Quark, you do this mission right and that promotion's yours. Uh, did he say the baby with the baggie or was it the body with the booty? Hmm? See, the... First... <laughs> See, first means destroy yourself. The other way means come home Randy. There's a big difference. <laughs> Ficus, did you understand anything Palindrome said? I did have my back to the screen and was deeply engrossed in my calculations. Uh -huh. Anything I might say would be purely conjecture. Uh -huh. Maybe I ought to sit down for this. You are sitting down, sir. I know that. I'm the commander. <laughs> Wing it, Ficus. Winging it, sir, I would say that the head has completed a treaty, treaty with Camomor. Kakama. Yes, a planet long coveted by the dreaded Covet. Gorgons. Gorgies. Your mission yeah. is to guarantee the signing of sign, the treaty sign. by completing an extended romantic Standard. interlude with Rock. the ruler of Camomor, Princess Karna. <laughs> I already had an interlude with the Princess Karna. How considerate of Palindrome to reunite you, sir. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. The women of Camomor are known for their passions. Camomorian men never live past 25. Most never survive the honeymoon. As the human being that you are, you should enjoy this. Yes, 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 yes. yes. When I was young and strong, Princess Karna almost killed me. <laughs> what will happen to me in this condition? Nothing. Nothing. No. No. Really? The transfusion failed. Failed? Yes. Ah, well. At the rate you're aging, long before you reach Princess Karna, yes. you'll be dead. Dead? Yes. Star note, Ficus could use some work on his bedside manner. There is another cure. Oh, let's try it. If it works, it could kill the virus. Kill the virus. If it doesn't, it could kill you. Kill me. Yeah. Fifty. <laughs> Now, let me understand this. You're going to send an electrical current through my body that will kill the virus. Ficus, have you ever done this before? Yes, sir. Good. On plants to kill black root fungus. Black root fungus? I'm not a plant, I'm a human being. <laughs> Did you feel pain, sir? No, I was singing. Oh, why would one sing? 
ficus. I felt pain. Good. Then it's working. Hello, Adam Quark. This is Princess Karna. Oh, my galaxy. I've requested that the head send you so that I may once again experience your masculine strength and power. As you know, I adore men who possess such qualities. All of my late husbands did. So hurry. 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 If only I could. Hi, Gene, this is Palindrome. Hi, how are you? Just fine. Is Commander Quark there? We're in the middle of space. Where else would he be? Just get him for me, please. Hey, Commander, it's for you. Hold on, he'll be right with you, Space Ranger. <laughs> Palindrome, I seem to have hit a little snag on this mission. What snag? And, and, and will, you, will you move into view? Quark, look at you. You're so old. What happened? Uh, I caught this virus. Well, but how could you do this? What's Princess Karna going to think? I'm not going to make it to Princess Karna. The Gorgons are courting her. If we lose this ally to the Gorgons... We are working on a cure. Farkas already tried transfusion and an electrical process, but it didn't quite work. Oh, great. The fate of the Alliance depends upon a plant curing a virus. He's a smart plant. Quark, I want you to hear this recommendation I wrote for you. Uh, sure, Quark is unqualified, but if I work with him closely, giving him the benefit of my knowledge, my experience, my general space savvy, I'm sure I can pull a starship commander out of the cocoon of Adam Quark. That's a wonderful recommendation. <laughs> Does that mean he isn't going to recommend you? Do I look like a good recommendation? Adam, you've got to ingest. You need the energy. <laughs> what is this? Mashed alkali with soft galactic yeast. Did you like it? Too lumpy. <laughs> you know, stranger? The food here is rotten. I can't believe this. We finally get a chance for our own starship and the commander blows it. It's not Adam's fault he's dying. I'm not so sure about that. Did you lose something? <laughs> what was that? Adam liked it. You mean the commander ate from that? That's right. I'm gonna die. Yo, Toe? Commander, my light's flashing before my eyes. Beating up my first gravulite. Buying my first dress. <laughs> Joining the cadets. Dating a cadet. Killing my first Gorgon. Nursing the wounded. Aw, oh, sure, I've made mistakes. But the heck with it. I've gotta be us. Attention, attention. A fleet of Gorgon ships is preparing to attack. If you need me, forget it. I'll be on the bridge, Commander. We're going to get us some Gorgies. Come on, Bettys. Sonny. Yes, sir. Who are the Gorgies? They're our dreaded arch enemy. Sir, your mind is slipping. You've got to understand they'll try and destroy us. I understand. I'm OK. Oh. Sonny! What is it, sir? Who are the Gorgies? Commander, the Gorgons are in range. Your instructions. Instructions! Yeah, of course, instructions. Set course reading, uh, one, two, seven. Commander, that'll put us right in their pocket. Is that bad? Does that answer your question? Adam Quark has never lost a battle. You there! Change course to one, five. No! Make that one, seven. Commander, you're obviously unfit to command this ship. I'm taking over. You are? Commander, you're not listening to me. Look at you. You're not capable of running this ship. 
Maybe I'm not. Sir, our digital scanners reveal that the Gorgons have just accelerated into my Benio Woldenite Magnetorp. I guess when I'm in charge, you're gonna talk like everybody else. You got that? This young... This young fella is right. I'm giving up command for the safety of all. You mean I'm taking over? <laughs> if you're taking over, I'm getting off. No! I may be old, but I'm not crazy. As the second-ranking officers, the Bettys are taking command. What was that about not being crazy? Those two? You can't do this to me, Commander. I ain't taking orders from no clone. Mm -mm. In that case, Gene, you'll take all your orders from me. Don't listen to her, Gene. She's the clone. Life is like a fountain, Alex. My name is not Alex. Gorgon chip, 9.5 in closing. Prepare to fire lasers. No, bring up the deflector shield. Make up your mind. The only things they can make up are their faces. I say shields, lasers. Life is like a laser, Alex. Your mind has slipped. Gorgon chip, 8.7 in closing. This is quite an adventure. I hate adventure. Buddy, what are we going to do? like a Betty, Alex. Oh, Grot, my name is Andy. Don't swear, Alex. Sir, take it from Alex. These face heads will get us killed. Your ship is in danger. My ship, my crew, my life, my life, yes. I'm in command here. Now, what's your name? Bacchus Pandorata, sir. You'll get over that, sailor. <laughs> Put plan green. Maneuver DL-17 into effect. Gorgon ship 7.9 are in closing. Okay, Betty's. When he gets in range, blast the buggers. Yes, sir. <laughs> Betty, fire. <laughs> Got him. I'm going to miss my Adam when he's gone. He was my Adam. He was my Adam. No, he wasn't. He was mine. Prepare to fire. Fire. Got him! Good work, Betty. Way to go. Commander, we got those big and gorgeous. Ready to good work. I'm with you. Ready to good work. Here comes Karna. Betty, when you transport me down, Make it someplace soft and comfortable. Oh, Adam, you're so brave to face that awful Princess Karn in your condition. It's my only chance to command a starship. Oh, Adam, I feel so close to you, knowing that in only a matter of minutes you'll be dead. Betty, I'll never see you again. I have to know which one's the clone. Shit! I'd go. Zephyr, look! Oh, my galaxy! Princess Karna, there's an old man in your tub. Is that you? Yes, it's me. And I have to ask you a favor. Would you sign the treaty? Oh, Adam. For you, I would do anything. Oh, thank you. Adam? Yeah? You've changed. You're old. What's that? I said you're old. Oh, yes, yes. You noticed. <laughs> I knew you'd be angry. Angry with you, Adam. <sighs> how can I be angry when I know how fantastic you are? Fantastic? <laughs> I can't even get out of this tub. Oh, let me help you. <laughs> Ladies? <laughs> Ladies? <laughs> No, no. Easy. You must be a little disappointed to find me older than you expected. <laughs> um. 
No, no, Adam, not at all. As a matter of fact, I find it very exciting. You find it exciting? Hmm? You... <laughs> you find it exciting? I've never spent a romantic interlude with a man over 25 before. My luck. Adam, <laughs> this is going to be the best interlude ever. You may leave. Thank you. I meant my handmaidens. Maybe they'd like to stay a while. We can play four-handed space rummy. <laughs> oh! Adam? Uh-huh. Oh, Adam. Oh, my galaxy. Over here. Uh-huh. When you talk about this, and you will, be kind. Well, time to pick up the commander's bones, Ficus. You'll be pleased to know that I finally synthesized a serum to counteract the amount of quarks virus. Well, a fat lot of good that's going to do him now that he's passed on the big starship in the sky. This is Princess Karna. Yes, this is Commander Quark's ship. Are you ready to transport your commander? Yes, just place his body in the clear area and step back. Betty's. Ficus, hit the switch. All clear. Oh, Adam! You're not dead! Very good, Betty. It must have been terrible down there. You don't know the half of it. But the Alliance is secure. Congratulations, sir. A mission completed. I knew you could do it. Our own starship. Please be seated, sir. Phaeton torpedoes, gamma blasters, ultra light speed. Now those Gorgons won't have a chance. I'm gonna call mom and dad, dad and mom. Oh, Adam, you're fantastic. That's the second time today someone told me that. <laughs> sir, there's hardly a trace of the virus. Oh? May I ask if while you were on Camomore, you did anything out of the ordinary? You could say that. And your blood pressure, did it increase? Oh, okay. yeah. And your breathing, very rapid at times. Then I would say that your extended romantic interlude with Princess Karna mm -hmm. brought about changes in your body chemistry oh. that temporarily reversed the effect of the virus. Oh. However, it did not destroy it altogether. No, 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 no. I've still got it. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. How do I get rid of it? There are two possible ways. Two? Yes. Uh -huh. One is another extended romantic interlude lasting seven days. Seven? Yes. Oh, Adam! The other is this. What's this? Well, that was a serum that I synthesized. Oh. It should destroy the virus in ten seconds. Ten? Yes. Mm. Oh, ficus! Betty, take us home. Star note, 2216. On the way to Camomore to complete my mission, I was invaded by a virus, transfused by a transmute, attacked by gorgons, electrocuted, and nearly died of old age. And to think, this was the best assignment I ever had.